Francis is using an electric-powered Popemobile during his visit to Brazil. Some Canadians are also choosing the technology for their vehicles, seeing it as a much cheaper and cleaner alternative to gas. But as Aaron Saltzman tells us, the potential demand is raising concerns about how well the power grid can cope. Mel Idreos loves his electric car. Perfect for his lifestyle, he says, and so convenient. You can come in at, uh, at night at home, I simply plug it in, and by the morning when I get up, it's all charged up and I'm ready to go. With few public charging stations, most electric car owners are just like Idreos. They charge their cars mainly at home, and that requires power. Electric vehicle can be charging for up to eight hours on your home, and that has an impact on the distribution grid. Electric cars, he says, can require three to five times the amount of continuous power as the average inner city house, a potential issue in older neighborhoods in older cities with aging infrastructure. We've been relying on uh, the existing distribution transformers to feed that neighborhood, and we have what essentially introduces perhaps two, three, four times a house load right onto that street. So we have to take that into account. There are still relatively few electric cars on the road, likely fewer than 1,500 in all of Ontario. But utilities don't know which homes those cars are plugged into. So if two or more happen to be on the same outdated transformer, that could cause an overload. Toronto Hydro is working to modernize its power grid, a worthy investment, say electric car advocates, considering the lower greenhouse gas emissions and the savings. It's much, much cheaper for me to drive an electric car than a gas car, and so I really think we have to think about the opportunity. And certainly there will be issues to manage the grid, but certainly can be managed if we learn as we go. Melly Dreo says charging his car at home adds between $8 and $13 a month to his electric bill, far less than the cost of fill up a tank, and he never has to worry about running out of gas. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.